do you take bits and pieces from different players' games or, or either do now or did when you were growing up and incorporating that into your game? And if so, like, what are some of the guys that you've taken from and incorporated into your game? The two guys I watched the most, besides my dad, obviously, growing up, was uh, Steve Nash and Reggie Miller. Um, That's a good thing. Kind of played two positions and two different, you know, styles. If I'm playing on the ball or off the ball, so to have a guy like Steve Nash that never lost his dribble, always had an out, could pass with, you know, with some flair, but always made the right play, um, but also could shoot the ball off the dribble. Um, he was a guy that you, I studied a lot of film on. And then watching Reggie move without the ball and, and use screens and get open and, and, and uh, the quick release to get the jumper off, um, you know, that's something that I try to add to my game as well. A few changes to the roster and added Andre Iguodala. How much of an impact do you think he'll have? He'll be huge for us. I mean, his versatility is the biggest thing for us. Being able to guard pretty much four positions, um, how athletic he is in, in the break. We're an up-tempo team, so I have you know great dreams of running the fast break with Andre on one side, Harrison on the other, Clay trailing at the three. Um, I mean, and with the ball in my hands, that's that's a good that's a good attack, and I think uh, he allows us to just match up with pretty much every team with you know our healthy bigs that are coming back. So word is you grew over the summer. That's the that's the word according to my mom. <laughs> so mom's always your biggest fan, and she was uh, staring at me one day and was, See, I think you got taller. So I got to go back and look at the records to see exactly how tall it was, but uh, I'll, I'll take it. I'm staying a little taller this year. So will we see you in the post more? Does that now that you're a big guy. Uh, I, I've worked on a post game a little bit. Um, you know, you can always, as long as I get a clean look on the, at the rim, I think I can knock it down. So whether it's from the inside or out. Who's your toughest matchup at that position, point guard? If you look at just how Chris Paul plays and, and how crafty he is and how smart he is on the floor, uh, it's hard to take, you know, much away from him when you're guarding him. He gives a lot of people problems. Um, and you know, I always look forward to you know going up against him. Worked out with him before I you know came into my rookie year, so he kind of showed me the ropes, and so we have that kind of relationship. And I I love playing against him, battling, and competing, and hopefully we get the best of him this year. He's probably not trying to give you advice and help you out now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's done with that. We're friends off the court, but you know it's one of his biggest things. Once we're on the court, it's, it's war. So um, you know, there's no history there.